nice have you ever studied finance i i did i did what i did here i'll tell you my my business perspective right i went to university after high school for a year right in sciences in geophysics and mathematics and i was in hard sciences or sciences my whole school career high school if you can call it a career right so i would i needed a little change it was stagnant so i dropped out of university and people were like what are you crazy you got into university on the first i said man i i just need a break i want to try something else right so i dropped out of university i went to community college to take business people are like oh my god Gijo does it backwards people go to college to do upgrading to go to university this moron is going to university and then downgrade into community college after that i dropped out <laughs> i went and got a job at a gas station to on a mid uh, on a on a graveyard shift to be able to read lord of rings right people are like oh my god you just lost it right but long story short I went to university and I wanted something else other than sciences. So I went to community college to take business and I enrolled in a two year business program. Within a month and a half, I realized business was just experience. Just do learn the system and apply the system. Right. And I knew the math. Right. So the math was just ridiculous for me. I'm like, Dan, this is your finance. This is, this is what you guys are talking about. Now I'm not talking about higher masters phd degree finance we're using calculus and stuff i'm talking about a business degree right so after a month and a half two months i realized i'm not going to stick through the whole two-year program this is too simple i can just do this i'm already doing this i had my own business already i already incorporated a business i was doing stuff on the side right so i just partied for another two months and the term was over i failed half the courses and i dropped out right and then a year and a half later, I went back to university, back into sciences. That's my finance schooling. Okay. Marketing was hilarious. Accounting was a joke. Oh, yeah. By the way, my other finance degree, here's, here's something I did, uh, something else I did in finance. Uh, Tolaska. Do you know SAP? Enterprise Resource Planning Software from Germany. Right? 20 over 20 years ago 20 years ago over 20 years ago okay over 20 years ago I was, i've been doing geophysics for like 10 years and i wanted a little change so i put my name into the sap program to get certified for sap because i wanted i i saw enterprise resource planning huge data management i, I was really into data right and i am still into data all right i love data so i looked around and i realized there was SAP was one of the big players, right? Enterprise resource planning, managing lots of data. So I put my name in for SAP modules to get certified in them, right? And um, I forget what I put my name in. I think I put my name in the, I can't remember what I put my name in. And there was an opening, they gave me a call, right? There was an opening for the FI module. FI was the finance module, right? So they gave me a call and they said hey listen there's been an opening in the finance thing we need to know if you want to fill that spot otherwise we're going to move on to the next person on our list and i said finance finance isn't what i wanted to do and they said look you have to tell us right now if you want to do it or not and i was in vancouver and this course was in montreal they only offered at certain times of the year in certain places in the world right and i said okay what the hell i'll take it now the course was ten thousand dollars right 21 years ago the course cost me ten thousand dollars and it was in montreal it was another city so i had to go for get room and board there as well so I, long story short i went to montreal right paid them ten thousand dollars got a furnished apartment for two months okay and first day in class we're sitting there and there's the head of the RCMP, the finance for head of the RCMP, some people head of finances from different corporations and stuff were there, like accountants, high level accountants and money managers and stuff like this, uh, high end managers. And the first thing that teacher says was, um, <laughs> you know, okay, gang, we're starting like a month and a half crash course on this module. Uh, let's find out who's here and it was like 20 of us in the thing so everyone started getting up saying i'm i'm from this company the company's paying for it i'm getting my fi certificate uh you know i'm here to get my fi because we're going to do implementation roll it out so everyone started getting up and i'm like damn so i got up 
I got up and I said, yeah, my name is so-and-so, Chicho Chicho, right? Uh, my background is geophysics and a minor in mathematics. I've done 10 years of work in environmental geophysics. And the opportunity came up for me to come and get my FI certificate for SAP. So I decided to cough up the money and, uh, and uh, come and do the program. Now, I don't know accounting, right? But I bought three books I, I think i bought three accounting books and i had them on my desk i got i got these accounting books to learn accounting just the terminology of how the stuff works and i'm gonna get my fi certificate and maybe try out you know working in this field to see what it's about because i like data management everyone's <laughs> everyone's with effing looking at me they're all like what is this guy insane <laughs> what he's got books to learn accounting while we're going to be the crash course on SAP FI module that most people fail. And half the people fail that course, right? So after a month and a half, we do our thing. We do a little networking and stuff like this. We write the exam. I get my FI certificate, right? Half the class failed. Uh, I don't know. You know, like, man, what, what, I, what I've said, I mean... Learn the language of mathematics for anyone that wants to do anything in your life. Learn the language of mathematics. And you could pretty much do almost anything you want in your life if you put your mind to it, right? 